this is Amy from Crochet Jewel Channel. I'm going to show you how to make this crochet bunny peep with velvet yarn and a G hook. The pattern is down below. I'm going to use this baby velvet yarn with the G hook. You can always make it bigger with a bigger hook, thicker yarn. And I created an Easter playlist so that's down below in the description if you'd like to take a look at that of all my Easter videos. Slip knot onto your hook and create a chain six. Yarn over and pull through. You can always do more chains to make it wider if you'd like. And then in the second chain from the hook Work a single crochet, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And then it's going to look like this and then you'll start a new row with a chain one and turn work an increase of two single crochet and then single crochet in the next three stitches you can always place your video in slow motion there's a link down below on how to do so And then work an increase on the end here to single crochet. Chain one and then work one single crochet and each stitch across for the next three rows. chain one and repeat. You are going to make two of these and then sew them together. Okay, repeat again, just single crochet across Chain one and then work a decrease in the next two stitches, insert your hook, grab the yarn, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab the yarn, then yarn over and pull through three loops, single crochet in the next three stitches. And then work a decrease again. chain one and turn and work a single crochet in each stitch across
chain one and turn, work a de decrease, two together, and then work a single crochet, and then two together again, and then chain one and turn and work an increase. It's going to get bigger for the head. So two in the same stitch. And then a single crochet in the next. And then two single crochet. Chain one and turn. Work two in the same stitch increase, single crochet, and the next three stitches, and then single crochet increase on the end, then chain one and turn. single crochet in each stitch across chain one and turn, work two single crochet together, single crochet in the next three stitches, and then work two single crochet together, and then chain one and turn, and then work two single crochet together, and then single crochet, and then two single crochet together, and then you're going to start the ear. You'll do one of the ears with a chain one and turn work two single crochet in the same stitch chain one and turn and then work a single crochet and the two stitches and then chain one and turn and then work two single crochet in the same stitch and then work one single crochet in the next and then chain one and turn and then work a decrease and then work a single crochet and then chain one and turn and then single crochet in the two stitches and then chain one and turn and then work a decrease and then pull through after a chain one. So chain one and pull through. And then you're going to attach yarn to the other side and create another ear.
insert your hook, grab the yarn, and then you're going to create another ear the same exact way, creating two single crochet, and there should be like a stitch right in between the two ears, and then you'll chain one and turn, and everything else is all repeat, just like the other ear. Now you're going to take both of the bunnies and sew them together. You can even add stuffing inside, which I just add a little bit of velvet yarn inside. And if you have eyes, you can attach them inside now, or you can glue them on with a little nose. So I am going to glue these on to attach them permanently, but that's what they look like and you can add a nose. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This can be done in many different types of yarn. I felt like the velvet yarn was really cute and very easy to work with. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.